Hi there. I didn't know we were starting so soon. Now I hope you're all sitting down, because I've got to warn you, the movie you're about to witness is all about charity, integrity, possibly safe sex for the 90s, and above all, that favorite American pastime, listening to the good old radio. You ever wonder, hey man, who's behind the mic? What's all the hype about? You know, promotions, sponsors, special guests. Well, I'll tell you, it's all about being number one, having the best DJs, the biggest sponsors, the biggest prizes, the biggest gimmicks, the best of the best, the biggest of the biggest. It's a jungle out there, and if you own a radio station, you're fighting for your life, buddy. Now check this out. Two brothers, two radio stations, one contest, winner takes all. And it started on a hot California day. <laughs> Hi. This is Lily the Temptress with you. You're listening to K Lost, where you can find the meaning of life. Right now, we are having the greatest, most cosmic, out of body experience imaginable. So relax, come closer, and merge with our souls. Oh, yes. I can feel your souls touching me. Oh, yes, feel the vibrations. Oh, watch it. Now, my children, dwell on this. Life is a jungle. You must eat or be eaten. Huh? Production manager for K Win Radio. If you've always longed to be part of an elite group of people and are truly unique, I invite you to enter our annual DJ contest. Don't just dream, live it. You too can be a radio personality. Peter Stratton, signing off. <laughs> So, how was your trip up to the lookout with Peter last night? Don't you have some filing to do or something? Yes? Hi, uh, Wendy? They said just to come up and see the head guy? <laughs> Mr. Powell isn't in, but if you're here for the contest, take a seat. 
Wendy, I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but you got a little piece of, uh, uh do this. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. What is that, seaweed? Hey, where do you think you're going? Excuse me, is there a problem? Yes, thank God, Wendy has got a huge piece of fish bait stuck between her teeth. Look, I know what your game is. If you don't leave immediately, I'll... You'll what? Bend me over Wendy's desk and have your way with me? Don't make promises you can't keep. Uh -oh. What's going on here? Ooh, who is this dreamboat? Petey, I'm crushed. I didn't know you were taken. Big buddy, you people, please. We're all professionals here. Why don't you try this station? I'm sure a man of your talent will feel much more at home there. Oh, I see. It's restricted here. Butt heads only. <clears throat> so, uh, Toots, uh, am I up yet? Uh, time's a waste in here. Hey, come Sit on, down. Ed. Aren't you nervous about the will, JP? Do I ever look nervous? My father, rest his soul. He may have been a Democrat, but he was no idiot. Justice finally takes a back seat to good business. What about K-Lost? Turn that on. 94.5. What do you hear, Stratton? Animals, sir. Uh, worse. They're losers. You, you have found us. KLST on your radio dial. And... What? Welcome to the Chester Drawer c c Cooking Show. Today's menu, pancakes. Uh, now mix, mix it up and then pour it into the pan. Just like Mom used to make. Uh, boy, sounds good, doesn't it? Take a listen. Mm, it's really cooking up now, huh, Bubba boy? Okay. Now when it starts to starts bubble on the top, just reach in and give them a flip. Dad, I thought you were going to go over the books this afternoon before the reading of Grandpa's will. Not now, Angie. I've almost got this. Now here's a word from our sponsor. This is B B B Mrs. B B B Better Mrs. B B B Mrs. B B's Better Bonbons is one of our biggest accounts. Well, I'm I'm aware of that, ma'am. I I know that Chester has a slight speech problem. All right, all right. It's not that slight, but ma'am, you've got to admit the name. It's so difficult to pronounce when it has to be said so quickly. I, well, I was thinking maybe if you bought a longer spot. I, Mrs. This Baby, sucks. I assure you that your account here at KLST takes priority over all other accounts. And I'm not just saying that. Excuse me. I'm here to see the owner of the station. If you're with a collection agency, the person in charge is not here. Actually, <clears throat> I'm with the FCC. Cornflakes with beer? Support it. You want some? No, thank you. <laughs> Suit yourself, pal. <laughs> Guy tries to be friendly, and what do you get? I don't believe it, Billy Day. Where? Where? You remember the shake? <laughs> ooga, ooga! Hey, Frank, you still get your hair there? Yeah, it's all there. <laughs> How are things in the burrito business? Oh, yeah, you're in the deli business. Yeah, I knew that. I tried to do a professional show, and nobody Beautiful seems to show, care. Chester. Beautiful. You were double charged? 
No, that's impossible. My guys wouldn't do that. Bert, I'm tired of them doing things to me all the time. Well, can't you see that I'm on the telephone? Right, right. Well, if you make good, no charge. Okay. I sure will stop by. I can't wait to taste your nachos. <laughs> no, Chester! No! Chester, Angie, he swallowed Jack. Oh, Jack, Jack swallowed not Jack. again. Quick, quick, I'm... Be careful. Oh, oh. Bingo. Jack, Jack, can you hear us? Jack. Let's get you some water, buddy. No more water. Nice fish. You like fish? Sure. That's Jack. He's been with us a long time. Not much turnover around here, huh? You're looking for a job? Sardines. Uh oh. oh ooh. <laughs> that was great. We sure could use a guy like you around here. You gotta be kidding me. You'll move in tonight. Move in? What, you expected more than food and shelter? Come on, I'll show you around. Danny, how about a beer for our new DJ? Set me up, amigo. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, man, but you don't fuck with me and you'll be fine. See, no one fucks with Danny Lopez. Do you have a hairy butt, Danny? Yeah. Then you're safe with me. Is that a joke, man? I get it. How about that beer now, Mr. Lopez? I think she just did. <laughs> Kurt, Angelo, I just wanted to drop off some paperwork, because the reading, as you know, is tonight at six. What are they reading? Your father's will, Bert. Oh, that. Right. See, Bert's old man rewrote his will just before he kicked the bucket. And that night, Mr. Count was about to spill the beans. <laughs> if only old man Powell knew the trouble he was about to I've start. I've always believed that competition brings out the best in men. So I leave you this, my son. A proposition. Bert, take that sucker out of your mouth. You rot your teeth out. John, wipe that smirk off your face. Six months from today, my estate will be awarded to the one of you whose station has the highest advertising revenue. To make the victory even sweeter, the winning station will gain control of the losing station and all of its assets. I could lose K Lost? I'm afraid so, Bird. On New Year's Eve, your father's will shall go into effect. He's on the up and up. Mr. Count here will audit your accounts monthly. Good evening, gentlemen. Angela. Good luck to both of you. May the best man win, Bert. Same to you, bud. Well, that's easy for him to say. But with K. Win sitting at the top of the charts, our chances were looking pretty bad. In fact, they stunk. And if we were gonna, you know, Win K lost back by New Year's, we were gonna have to work pretty hard to beat up that schmuck John. Well, you know, and that would be a drag because that means we'd have to look for a new place to live, you know? 
And, uh, you know, uh, we were all pretty shocked at the size of, of the inheritance, that is. Sixty fucking million bucks. And that doesn't include the real estate or the antiques. Let me get this straight. We come out ahead of K-Win by New Year's, you'll get 60 million bucks plus K-Win? We'll get 60 million bucks. I was going to distribute it to everybody, the whole family. Slap the freeway, mother! K-K-K-K-Loss The strange rock For a strange flock k k k k loss I said strange rock Five Three Two One Hey, chump <laughs> Don't touch that dial Move your hand away Turn the volume up I got a lot to say I don't care if you're ugly, pretty, straight, okay I'm only here for one reason And that's to play If you wanna get crazy Well, that's okay if you wanna fight the devil, then learn to pray. If you wanna get a woman that likes the lay, spend the next six hours with Billy. Du -du 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 day. Good morning, LA. It's time to get up and milk the mo. You're listening to Kalos, the station that promotes safe sex with kinky people. Have your way with Billy Day, who's on the air. Billy Day! Why, it's Jesse the Juggernaut. Jesse, how'd you ever find me? It wasn't hard! You're an arrogant, obnoxious asshole, and you're offending me! This here is Beauty Tip, and I'm your host, the dude from the jungle. All right, listen here. I see all these bitches with an ass big as a goddamn house wearing some kind of stretchy pants. Now, what the hell's that all about, anyway? Man don't need to see that scary shit when he's out doing business on the street. Wait, right, he, he can't be doing this. And the same goes no. for you tired-ass no. motherfuckers with a big old beer belt thinking you could be wearing a Speedo out on the beach. Ain't nobody want to see that shit. <laughs> Say maybe the buzzards. The samurai. Fat ass, no stretcher pants. And no speedos for you well belly motherfuckers either. This is a mixture of house and rap music. So turn it inside out, go ahead and abuse it. The queens of ghetto madness is in effect, clocking crazy dollars. You want the clubs that dance. I like to see the sweat dripping. Off the face of a brother, no type of flipping for ripping. You'd like to establish an account with us? Why? Have your way with Billy Day. Billy Day, you son of a bitch, you got me pregnant. Sorry, but please call again. <laughs> Hello, kitties. It's time to play with your anus. Little pissants. Today I'm gonna teach you, little bastard, how to torture the family cat. <laughs> Go get some sandpaper, your mother's curling iron, and a big bowl of melted cheese. But first, while you're doing that, I'm gonna read a letter from one of our stupid little shitheads named Mark. The competition is mine, I'm not playing, so shake it. Until your bones start cracking, crack you run the rhythm again, keep them jacking. Jump and jack to the beat. Don't try to feel like you can't get out to see any damage. It's time to get loose and be free. Move your butt to the cuts along. 90 spots a week? Welcome to Hangle. This week, I've been looking for a good code license. Well, have I got news for you. Jack! I call up my friend Albi. Albi, I said, I'm stopped up. I'm itching. What do you got for me? He sends me over a lozenge wrapped in foil. I open it up. I put it in my mouth. It's Hazari. It melts in 30 seconds. <laughs> Albi, I said, you call this a lozenge? He says, what lozenge? It's a suppository. I haven't coughed in five days. I figured, what the hell? Now I'm sitting on cough drops. <laughs> Next week on Haggle, Kanishis. 75. Prime time? No problem, Mrs. Wilson. We'll start the act on Monday. Thank you. All right. <laughs> no. Intimate. And here I am receiving the award for the most valuable new radio personality. What's your pleasure? <laughs> Let me go. I don't want to get laid. Tommy, she won't bite you. No, no, put your, put your clothes back on, please. God, look what just blew in from the tundra. Ow. Tim, you got my white Russian yet? Side. 
So, uh, what do you say you and me, Saturday night, you know, I could, uh, you could shave as low as you want. Go wipe yourself. Wendy Piccolo, what a thrill it must be for you to see me again. Oh, please. Well, if you insist. Why don't you get out of here? You're creasing my skirt. Great way to spend a summer. A little 50,000 watt radio station outside of El Paso. We came in and... So, who's the flame and orgasm? You have a face sweet enough to eat. May I? No. One little lick, please. Bolton. Is that a no? Yes. Yes? No. Yes, no. Wendy, make up your mind. A man's libido can only take so much. You know, Romeo, I know you fancy yourself hysterical, but I find you pathetic. So why don't you take your reject friends and get out of my sight? Wendy, did you know a woman's ear is a keyhole to a sexual twilight zone? Hands off, mister. Peter. Petey. And if you don't leave, Craig will break every bone in your body. Peter, Peter. I haven't seen you and Craig here since, well, golly, since you took off work at Kalos and stole our accounts. What the hell is this? Well, that's a tough one, Craig. I think it's a singles bar. You're not taking steroids, are you, Wasserman? You know what that does to Junior. After a fun night with the K-Wins, Danny got to bring home a souvenir. Got you, boy. Now, if we were to beat K-Win by New Year's, we had to keep them accounts rolling in. All righty, we appreciate that. You keep listening now. Just a minute, please. k lost. Yes, no, no, sir, the Billy Day Show can't be on 24 hours. No, he's got to eat and sleep, sir. Okay, thank you. The following will be a test of the emergency broadcast system. I repeat, this is only a test. If this had been a real emergency, you'd be screwed. Ribbit. Happy anniversary. You like it? Yeah, it's... Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, Frank. Three years. It seems like more, doesn't it? You. Are you ever gonna grow up and marry me? Mm -hmm. If we can adopt Otto. Otto? He's not even toilet trained. We'll keep him outside. Now we were one big happy family, except for John, who seemed a bit tipped off. I want them stopped. The nobody, sir. What about Billy Day? Nothing but a low-life troublemaker. Nevertheless, I won't take any chances. I'm sure that you and Washington permanent solution? It'd be a pleasure, sir. That's all. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Was it good for you? Get into it, baby. Hello? Hello, Bob, I can't hear you. Hello, is this Morley's Food Market? Yes, it is Morley's. Good, this is Mrs. Goldmeyer. Hello, Mrs. Goldmeyer. No, 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 I'm Mrs. Goldmeyer. Listen, I want you to send me one keg of beer and four, f five, six cases of beer. And what else? Well, I could use a case of Daniels. And the bottle of Mandovitz? Yes. And chips! Lots and lots of chips! Go on your way to... Hey, where the hell? This is my nephew Joshua's bar mitzvah. Yes, yes, yes. Hoy, look at the time. I should be in bed. I have a very, very weak heart. Listen, listen. Would you do an old lady a great favor and, and have your boy Johnny delivered outside? Good, good. And just charge it to my account. God bless you. You dirty dog. You really did have Holly Desmond. I thought she was a lesbian. She was. Think I am the dog. 
little wild on that one, Grafsoff. Give it another shot. Time for Celebrity Sing Along. Today's guest, Tattoo. Welcome, Tattoo. Thank you very much, Billy. I just want to say I love your show. Well, thank you, Tattoo, but we're here to talk about you and that new singing career. So why don't you tell us about that debut album? Well, it's called Hey You Tattoo, and only they sing many famous blood racial tunes. That sounds great, Tattoo. Are you ready to uh, sing for us now? Yes, I am. <laughs> the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain, on the plain. Well, if you're stuck in traffic, good. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> but here's Lily in our helicopter, and she'll tell you all about it. Lily, what's going on out there? It's a beautiful morning, travelers. Freeways are clear as mountain rivers. Beware, the planets are angry and hostile today. So if you're on the 101, that stubborn tourist freeway, watch out because near Melrose, there's a student driver, yes, a Virgo in fact. He will overcorrect and he'll go into the other lane and smash into a small man, a dwarf. Yes, a dwarf in a white Buick. And they'll tie up lane number one. No, wait a second, wait a second. That's lane number three. Yes, lane number three. And that's all for today, children. This is Lily on K Lost saying, Feel the vibration. and gentlemen, the smiling penises. <laughs> Nasty little boogers, aren't they? Blowing up radio stations is not nice. Naughty boys should be punished. But, you know, I'd like to focus on the positive side of this catastrophe. I'm talking about unity. That, that, that human bond, that, that unbreakable, unstable, Unstoppable bundle of human chutzpah that forms when a group of people have reached their lowest, most desperate moment. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a month into New Year's almost, and, uh, well, <clears throat> with our transmitter blown up, it looks like we're on our backs, so to speak. <clears throat> but, we're not out. We lost the Rodriguez account this morning, and Jerry's pest control just canceled. That's two more for K-Win and zero for us. 
Scum sucking pigs. Maybe we better just call it off. We can't beat them. Think about it. You get up in the morning, you turn on the radio, what are you looking for? Some good music, a little news? Wait a minute. That's it. That's it. Listen, we have no sponsors now, right? Right. That's great! Huh? What are you talking about? Knock it off! Stop, guys! Listen, we have no sponsors now. That means we don't have to play any commercials, which means we can play music, news, entertainment 24 hours a day. People will die for this stuff. Our ratings will go sky high. No other radio station can touch us. No commercials 24 hours a day. Hey, Tommy might be onto something. But can we last without sponsors? Sure, we just get the ratings, then we sell the ads, and gradually we just start running the commercials. Hmm. It'll take a lot of work. But maybe if everybody pulls together... We can do it! Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it! Chuck, chuck, wood, chuck, chuck, wood. How much wood, 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 chuck, chuck, wood, chuck? Oh, damn! Uh, K-Lust executives have announced that their new programming will be 100% commercial free. Hey guys, K-Lust is here. Check them out. Oh, Come on, really? Walk them here. It's time. It's time for Pig Talk with your host. UBA be swine. What's today's topic, UB? Uh, beer burps. Okay, we're talking about beer burps on Pig Talk with UBA swine. Waiting for that first call, and here it comes. Well, say something, swine. How do I get more smell into my beer burps? Well, do you brush your teeth? Yeah. Well, don't. Ha 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 ha. This love letter goes out to Doreen from Robert. Swallow, taste it. Don't you dare waste it. It drips before your eyes. You must slurp before it dries. Slowly, surely slides down that big cone. Eat it quickly. You don't have too long. Messy, sticky, trickles down your throat. Careful, easy, beware not to choke. Vanilla, chocolate, many flavors to pick. Ice cream, yummy. What'd you think it was, a prick? Well, you know Francis better than anyone else. You've done three films with him. Is he the genius director and devoted family man we hear so much about? He's neither. He's a pimp and an errand boy. Uh-huh. Marlon, are we ever going to see you on the big screen again? Did I mention I like to drink wine more than I used to? Yes, you did. So, Sylvester, what do you got going for us next, big guy? Well, I feel I need to stretch myself as an actor. So I thought I would do Rocky versus Rambo. That way, I could play both characters in the same film. Hey, I'd pay $7 to see that. Can you give us an example? Sure. Hey, yo, Paulie, on your worst nightmare! Now, which character would that be, Sly? See what I mean? <laughs> I do. I do. Hey, Sly, it's been great having you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you yeah, we're still in business. As a matter of fact, we're 100% commercial free as of today. Are you still anchoring the news? Tonight? Related story, local radio station KLOS 94.5 is now 100% commercial free. At last, a radio station we can all listen to. Ma'am, I assure you that your account here at KLST takes priority over all other accounts, and I'm not just saying that. Angie, I'm a salesman. Mine is a professional obligation. Yo, 
Rabbi, turn the radio on. That you want to me, I'm listening to Billy Day. I can't hear myself. Turn yeah, the fucking turn radio. Turn your mouth down at my age. I hey. only have few pleasures. Where are you going to move your motorcycle? Move your mouth to another state, hey, please. I'm listening an to animal. Billy Day. No, Mr. Rodriguez, we're not playing any commercials yet. Yes, I will let you know. I, I won't forget. My God is a forgiving God. Amen. He's a loving God. Can I get an amen on that? Amen, preacher. Praise Lord. Well, yes. He wants you to dig deep, way down yes. into your yes. and come up with a generous donation to amen. Reverend Oral Lee Leach's amen. Mission of Love. Amen. Ho, ho, Joseph, that Billy Day's hip. Lock him into our dial. Yes, Lord. By the way, when is he joining us? People are staying here today to tell you that God has shown himself to me in the shape of an armadillo. Happy Halloween, you pumpkin head. How can we scare you? I was wondering if you could send us some promotional albums. Not bad. Not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, red leather, yellow, yellow. Le uh, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. This is just a drawer. This is just a drawer. This is just a drawer. Kayla is going from worst to first. Yes, how long would it take to get a 1 800 number? Kayla is 100% commercial free. Yes, Jack. We're moving up. Come on, guys. I can do it straight. I swear. Really? All right, Chester. Switching that baby on. Yeah! And now it's time for that big daddy of sound all over town. Chester Draw. This is K-Loss, 100% commercial free. T tonight on bl Blind Licks, B Blind Lemon Jefferson. Smooth as silk, buddy, smooth as silk. Thanks. With Christmas just around the corner, sponsors lining up like presents under a Christmas tree, we had a chance to beat K-Wing. But there was still one thing left to do. You're really something last night. How are you still on for tonight? Whatever. Pick you up at eight then. Peter, my lipstick. I'm on the stick ship. No. Oh, where can this? Oh, oh, Wendy. The stick. Oh, no. No. Come on, let's go. The stick ship. I'm on the stick ship. Oh, Wendy. Oh. Oh. Wendy, don't do that. Oh. Wendy, the stick ship. Oh. 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 It was a pretty rough yeah, night for Peter, but it was nothing compared to what we had in store for Wendy. Just to loosen her up, that is. Pretty thing, ain't she? It's for you. Hello? Wendy Piccolo? Yes? You've been selected at random to participate in our all-new radio dating game. It's the gateway to love. Sound like fun, Wendy? Yeah, I guess so. There you go, Wendy. Harvey, why don't you tell her all about it? 
Wendy, you and a lucky bachelor will spend a fun-filled week in the fabulous French house. And that's not all, Wendy, you also get 30, no, $50,000 cash. Thank you, Harvey. All you've got to do is question the bachelors, pick the one whose answers you like best, and you're on your way to a fun-filled vacation with a man of your dreams. Are you ready, Wendy? Uh, sir, uh... It's just like the show on TV, right? Right you are, Wendy. Okay, bachelor number one, why don't you say hello to Wendy? <clears throat> Bonjour, mon chéri. <laughs> and bachelor number two. Hey. Hey. And bachelor number three. <clears throat> well, there you have it, Wendy. Fire away. <sighs> okay. Um... If I were a cartoon character, I'd be Cinderella. Who would you be, bachelor number one? I've always been a romantic. I'd have to say Prince Charming. Number two? D -d 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 Dumbo. Dumbo? Long, long, big ears. <laughs> number three? Swamp Thing. Ugh. Gross. Okay. I'm always really nervous on the first date. What would you do to get me in the mood? Porno. Ugh. Thank you. Uh, number one? Yes, Wendy. I'd start us off with an intimate lobster dinner for two, then follow it up with a bottle of Dom Perignon. Drinking it by a roaring fire. And then I'd give you one of my famous massages. I'd start at your feet, work my... Way up oh. to your calves, across the back of your leg, into your thighs. Sorry, time's up. All right, Wendy, who's it going to be? Bachelor number one? Bachelor number two? Or bachelor number three? Come on, number one. Definitely number one. All right. Sorry, bachelors number two and three. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you outside. And hey, thanks for playing the game. Eat me. Charming, aren't they? Hey, before we send you two lovebirds off to Switzerland, France, we're going to arrange a local date, well, just to help you get acquainted. Harvey, tell her about it. Harvey. We're going to chauffeur drive you to La Petite Petite, where you'll dine under the stars. Wendy, you'll be picked up at 8 p.m. tomorrow night at the corner of Orchard and 30th. You're kidding. That's right where I live. Hey, wh what a coincidence. Wendy, congratulations, and again, thank you for playing the game. Thank you. <laughs> 15,000! <000! laughs> Well, it's okay, I guess. So what are you going to tell Peter? What's to tell? Oh, I gotta go. Toodles. Toodles. Hey, Blandy, you want to see my body, though? Got a hard on for you. I do submit to you. You know I do. When you make it wet, 
bet she won't be putting anything in her mouth for a while. Meanwhile, Billy added a bit of Wendy to his leather-bound collection. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to it? Billy, you gotta hear this one, man. <laughs> Billy just had a thing about him that seemed to blow away trouble, and we had all grown to like him. <laughs> he sure had changed things around the station. Almost as many accounts as John now, Jack. Pretty good, eh? Bulletproof glass, Jack. Blue Star. Why didn't I think this before? Hello. Could you connect me to the head of promotions, please? He's busy. But please tell him that this is Thomas Fraser calling from Kalos, the number five ranking radio station in town. Well, yeah, I'll hold. Yes, I'm holding. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, Angie. Oh. Well, Mr. Count, how's it looking? What do you think? Well, I must say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Uh, you're still behind, but only by 28 accounts, and you're closing. You just might have a chance at this yet. Not bad, eh? Now, your father would have been proud. Today, number five, tomorrow, blue star in the world. Oh, <laughs> blue star. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Well, why not? Now, the trade book says they have several companies, and that could mean 10, 20 more accounts. 45 potential accounts, to be exact. How do you know so much about blue star? Because blue star is Kwin's biggest client. That's no problem. I'm sure they'll switch to us as soon as they hear about us. No, 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 Bert, you don't understand. You see, Blue Star has a policy. Their ad business goes exclusively to the number one rated station. Now, programming, unfortunately, has absolutely nothing to do with it. They'll never make it to number one, sir. New Year's was only two days away. And with K-Lost only a heartbeat away from K-Win, well, there was only one thing to do. Party! Little did we know that this time Goldie was gonna follow us. George, come on! Coming, Mayo.
from the health department, ma'am. Syphilis vice squad. Spread them. Mr. Powell. I'm disappointed, Mr. Powell. I thought you knew where you were. I am referring to Burton. Now, he, where is he? He's in his office changing his costume. He cannot be disturbed. Peter, you wait here. That's got a lot of personality. Yes, sir. Stephen, Stephen. It's very good, Petey. Do you uh, roll over and play dead like a good dog? <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, losers. Days are numbered. <laughs> what do you think he's up to? Got me. Hello, Bert. Gee. How's it look? You haven't changed a bit. I couldn't decide between this and the Mr. Magoo costume. Angie picked this one for me. But that Magoo costume, that had the Bert, greatest... I didn't come here to make small talk. I'm here to make you an offer. Oh. Even though K. Lost has performed extremely well, you must realize you can't win. So, I'll give you 10% if you quit right now. You can't just walk in here and ask us to quit. Please, Angie. Let me handle this. Look, John. You were always the scholar, the athlete. You were the one that Mom and Dad always bragged to their friends about. I was the other little kid. Bird, I... Wait. This time I can't just quit. I've got to keep going. For him, for all those people there in the station. I've got to do it for me. I tried. I'll see you on New Year's. I'll be here, John. It was love at first sight for Goldie and I. Yeah. 
either one bat testicle, two, I don't remember which. What's the difference? One makes you an incredible lover. The other makes you impotent. Kim! Oh, Frank! Angie, Lily's got just the thing for you and Frank's sex life. I've had it with you too. Angie, no, wait. Sure. You gotta go. So, these three popes walk into a bar, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Hi, are any of you Tommy? Oh, no. Hi, I'm Tommy. Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't spent one minute alone with you since you got here. Are you jealous of Billy? God, you are. I feel like I don't know you anymore. Sweetheart, Billy and I go back a long way. I mean, we're just, you know, we're just catching up, that's all. I think you should spend all the time you want with him and do whatever it is you need to do. Wait, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Just don't expect me to be waiting for you. Okay. I won't. <laughs> Let me tell you about love, Franco. Hi. Either of you Tommy? He's Tommy. No, no, he's kidding. Tommy's out. Don't listen to him. He's Tommy. Mm. No, miss, you don't understand. Mm. They told me you put up a fight. Wait, mm -hmm. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Mm. Mm. What are you guys doing? Where are we going? Oh. Let me go! Let me go! Oh, yeah. Chester, have you seen Frank? <laughs> no. But I did hear him go that way. Enormous booters. What the hell is this? Guess I better go. No, don't bother. I don't want to get laid. Put me down. <laughs> Have fun, little buddy. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. Oh, oh, no. Well, this time it'll cost you fifty thousand. Do it clean. Welcome to the afternoon delight show. Uh, our guest today is sexual therapist, Dr. Sylvia Freed. Thank you for coming today, Dr. Freed. It's my pleasure, Charles. A Chester. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, uh, I uh, understand that you brought a lot of uh, uh, sexual par paraphernalia. Well, just a few items um, to stimulate discussion. Right. Uh, well, let's go to our first c c caller. C caller number one, you're on. Hey, doctor, uh, we were wondering here, uh, how many can you fit in your mouth? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. How many what? Well, uh, c c caller number two. Hi, doctor. Um, I've been plagued with this problem. I've got this itchy, yucky yeast infection right in my... Uh, no, okay. Uh, c c caller number th three. Uh, yes. I need your advice. Women terrify me, doctor. I keep having this nightmare. I'm running down this long, dark tube, flipping and sliding. I can't keep my balance. Giant clam snapping me as I run by. Snap. It's horrible. Hey, I know that voice. It's horrible. 
objects, and I reach in this huge, hairy monster, all wet and slimy, grabs me, sucks me down, devouring me. I can't breathe, Doctor. It's swallowing me. It's smothering me. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. What's the matter, Tommy? Clam got your tongue? Ah! Oh, God. Hey, who are you guys? We're from the FCC. Right, I've heard that one before. Out of the way, pervert. Hey, Doc. Hi. Hey. Which is better on a hot night in bed? A chicken and a sheep, or a chicken and a pig? <laughs> oh, stop laughing, you sex-starved old bag. Hey, she's our guest. Go for it, Dick Gray. I need to practice. What's going on in here? Bert Powell? Who wants to know? Agent Harris, FCC. Oh, my gosh, it is the FCC. This is your notice of suspension. Effective immediately. You are hereby suspended from the airwaves for violation of FCC code 41315, excessive use of graphic and sexual language, and for 41205, deliberate disregard of the emergency broadcast procedure. This is a joke, right? I'll be damned. Shut him down, Spike. Hey, you can't, Wait, you can't, can't do this. this. Before New Year's. You'll get your fee in the usual way. Happy New Year to you, too. Can't come in here without. Bert, what a surprise. Cut the crap, John. This is as low as you have ever sunk. I don't know what you're talking about. We just got suspended off the air on some trumped up charge. That's too bad, considering it's almost New Year's. But I tried to tell you. I even offered you a share, but you wouldn't listen. I beat you fair and square, and you know it. And he knows it. John had really done it this time. We were beginning to fall apart. Finished. Out of business. Stone Ray Bands. There goes my cocaine empire. There goes 60 million bucks. What does this CC stand for anyway? Flaming cow shit. That would be FCSI. Suspended. No, ma'am, we're just having some technical difficulties. We'll be back on before you know it. If we don't get back in there by tomorrow, we're gonna lose a lot of accounts. Look, I can explain about the other night. What happened? You're gonna laugh when you hear this. Um, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, it was yeah. just. Well, gotta go. Frank and Angie were falling apart, and as for me, well, I'd fallen for Goldie in a big way. I can't take it anymore. I gotta see Goldie. You with me? I'm with you, brother. Let's go. Goldie, how do I love thee? Let me count the thorns. Otto! <clears throat> From the top, maestro. Strangers in the light, singing to one another. You stay here, Cupcake. Peter, that was Wendy's name. Sorry, Cookie. Until they break, strangers in the light, how can we make it right? How's it going, Chief? Deep shit. Let them have it, boy. <gasps> We're only having technical difficulties. No, sir. We'll be on the air in no time. I tell you what, I'll throw in 20 free spots. Oh. You want all of your ads canceled. 
I see. Tommy, if we don't get back on the air soon, we are finished. Uh, I knew I should have gone to dental school. Cal, that's real blood. Oh, Peter and Craig and the rest of those pencil dicks over at K-Win. The yuppie scums. I get even, man. Nobody messes with my family. Where's your leader? He went home early. If you'd like to come back tomorrow... Shut up. Where's the broadcast? Attention! Attention! Our city has been invaded. I repeat, the Southland has been invaded. We are all in grave danger. Evil agents, possibly from outer space, have outer infiltrated space. our society by disguising themselves as media personalities. Millions of you are being brainwashed as we speak, but do not fear. We have captured several of these disease-ridden vermin, and we will execute one every hour until our demands have been met. Help! They're crazy! They're gonna kill us! Please, KLST has been hijacked by dangerous terrorists. The terrorists threaten to kill one hostage each hour until demands have been met. You guys, KLST has been hijacked! another piece of lettuce and he spit it out and he said hey gee lady are you sick or something and she goes no <laughs> but the guy before you was <laughs> shut up <laughs> yellow all right you guys this is captain jones here with los angeles police department is this another one of your pranks? This old boy thinks we're kidding. Does this sound like a joke, butt face? You catch that, partner? Now, no, just take it easy, pal. Those are innocent people. These aren't people. They're plutarian parasites. They must die. The Earth must remain free. You mean like sexually free? What's your name, boy? Otto. What's it to you? Otto, you're going to be the first parasite I kill. <laughs> Someone. Sir, I thought you should hear this. We have captured several of these disease ridden vermin. And we will execute one. What the every hell's hour going on? You said you shut them down for good. And look at this. Apparently, the hostages are still alive, Walter, but they Damn are it the hell. of the sap. They're a getting free publicity. Band of terrorists. I'm Bert Powell. That's my station. These are my people up here. Hey, let them stay. Hey, you up there. This is Captain Jones speaking. You move up against the wall! Where are the terrorists? Where are the terrorists? Are you rounding up the invaders? You guys have all lost your minds. Now we start shooting in 30 seconds. Out of the way. All right, now listen up. We change our demands. We want food and beverages, plus two tickets to Hawaii. And Madonna's home phone number. And oh yeah. Take that back to Pleasure Hut and get our money. Yeah, we lost our receipt. 
gas these jokers. Where'd they go? <coughs> Must have left through the air vents. <coughs> That's right. They left through the air vents. It's the old air. It's the old air vent. Bastards. All right, move it out. No, nope. move it out. Happy New Year. You sons of bitches! I could have killed you. Hey, we're still on. Someone get on the mic. Hey. Free at last. We're all okay. It was nip and tuck there for a while, but we made it. This is K-Lost. And this is Chester Drawer, alive and well. And now a word from our sponsor, Mrs. BB's Better Bon Bon. All right, oh, Chester, right. that's great. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, did you hear that? It's the phone. Hello, K-Lost, please hold. Okay, lost. You want to renew? Hello? That's great. Hold yes, on for just a second. Okay, lost. You want to set up a new account? All right, just hold on. Frank, Angie, we have sponsors. I know, isn't it great? Oh, oh, you want more? You want how many units? No problem. Come on out, you. You are surrounded. Oh. Put down your oh. weapons. God. No. 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 Oh yes, yes. David. Take that wall down over there, and you start spraying. God knows what lurks in the cracks and crevices of this rat hole. What in heaven's name is going on here? You lost, Bert. I thought I'd do a little redecorating. Peter, Greg, get going. Time is money. No, not so fast, pencil dicks. It's not a good way to talk to your new supervisors. Yeah, supervise this. Excuse me just a second, gentlemen. It's not midnight yet. Let us not get overly hasty, shall we? Let's see the this is the moment of truth. Come on. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Hmm. Currently, K-Win has 345 advertising units running per week. K-Lost, on the other hand, has 321 advertising units running per week. No. I'm afraid with only nine minutes left, that means... That means, Bert, nice try. If you'll just sign right here, ownership of K-Lost will transfer to your brother. All the work. Buzz off, Buster! Otto! Goldie! Mrs. Goldmeyer? Oh, Otto! What's going on here? The will of the late Sid Powell is being executed, Mrs. Goldmeyer. I helped Sid write that will, you know. And I won. Oh, John, be quiet. You know, in all the years that I owned Blue Star, I had a policy. Go with number one. You own Blue Star? KLST is fresh, no way. different, spontaneous. What are you saying? I want all my accounts to be with KLST. That's all very touching, but you're too late. Where's that horn? Oh, come on, 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 where's that horn?
of these accounts, I would have to declare K lost the winner. All right! You can't do this! I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! just for you. These were high so besides by IQ. One on one, we are the crucial ghetto madness. Fucking the mic right now, you have the status. Keep on the Yeah, you know the status. Southland, this is Blind Chester Draw swinging at you live from KLT Party Headquarters. Hey now, you look nutty. You know, before we swing this next groove, I... Hey, wait a minute, Billy Day. Say, what's next, my man? Well, I don't know, Chester. New York, Paris, Spandex. Yeah, mama man. I'm with you there, Billy. Put it there. We're gonna take it on uptown and put the New York club swing us down with the sound. That's really hitting on the house tip. I'm on a mission to flip, forget a grip and come a quick. So, anyway, I'm not playing for shake. Incoming. You want to rhythm again? Keep them jacked. How'd you like that one-handed catch of mine, huh? I do it all the time. You know, 60 million bucks can buy a lot of beer, and we've been having some kick-ass parties down at the station. In fact, we're having one tonight. So why don't you come on down and tell them Otto sent you? Who knows? Oh, Craig and Peter might even be there. They make such a cute couple, don't they? They're ready for you on the set, Ron. I'll be right there, babe. Well? Gotta go now. Just remember, on every dial, there's a zoo radio. Oh, K Lost! KLST stands for Zoo Radio! That's right! It's a beautiful day and an army's flat when Uncle Uranus stops by to chat. Would you piss off? Could you piss off? Something else dogs the shit out of my ass. Where does some ugly bitch come off thinking she can wear no makeup? Something else that bugs the shit out of me. Where does some ugly bitch with a dog's ass with a face like... I tell you something else that bugs the shit out of me. Where does some ugly bitch with a face like a dog's ass come off thinking she don't need to wear no makeup? Baby, if the dog didn't have no tail to hide his ass, he'd show enough have some makeup on it. Got total control of the mic. Oh, K Lost. K L S T stands 
It's not in those little twit. You're scared of the old lady's right. You should always eat your vegetables. That way you can puke some back up in her face when you're done. Now bug her off! You might head for her job. But you must... 